nice to meet you. My name's Stuart Gale. I'm here in the fourth largest city in Japan. It's home to the Japanese car industry. The worldwide headquarters of Toyota are located here. Heavily bombed during the Second World War, this place is often overlooked by tourists. Sometimes labelled as Tokyo's ugly sister, let's see what Nagoya has to offer. Coming out of the station, Kin no Toke, or Golden Clock in English. This is the most famous meeting place in the whole of Nagoya. From morning to evening, people from all walks of life come to meet here. Businessmen, children, students and housewives. But I've heard there's a more interesting and unusual meeting place around here. She's from Switzerland. She's six meters tall. She weighs 600 kilograms, so she shouldn't be too hard to find. Let's look for Nana-chan. Excuse me, do you know where Nana-chan is? Where's Nana-chan? Does anyone know where Nana-chan is? Do you know Nana-chan? Good friend of mine, Switzerland, big girl. We're looking for Nana-chan. This is Nagoya Tower. Completed in 1954, it's the oldest TV tower in the whole of Japan. In the 1992 film Godzilla vs. Mothra, the character Batra comes to Nagoya, attacks it and tries to destroy the tower. Let's just hope he's not still around. I think we're safe. <laughs> Behind me here is Osukanon Buddhist Temple. It might look like the countryside, but we're still in downtown Nagoya. This temple has a very interesting history. In the year 1612, Tokugawa, who was the first emperor to unify Japan, moved the temple in its entirety all the way from Gifu prefecture to the north of the city to this spot. Now nowadays with the technology we have, that would be an impressive achievement. But 400 years ago, that's simply unbelievable. I'm still in Osu Kanon. The temple we saw before is just behind us. It leads onto this covered shopping area. And this place is absolutely huge. It's got 1,900 meters of covered shopping, a thousand businesses. And these shops sell everything. You can buy Japanese Jinbei robes here. You can buy American Army surplus clothing. You can buy hip hop clothing. You can buy Japanese ornaments. Anything you want is here. Young people come, old people come, trendy people come. If you want to do good shopping in Nagoya, this is the place to be. I'm in a place called Sakai in downtown Nagoya. This is where well-to-do Nagoyans come to do their shopping. It's full of expensive brand name shops. What a shame, I forgot my wallet. I found her, this is Nana-chan. Apparently she's from Switzerland, but you wouldn't really think so to look at her. She's wearing a Japanese junior high school uniform. Apparently she changes costume to fit the season, so with it being winter, what better time to wear a short skirt. She's here for purpose as well. If you see at the top, she's actually supporting the ceiling a little bit. Nana-chan. I've had a look around Nagoya. Now I'd like to speak to someone who lives here and get the inside track. How are you doing? Hello. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. My name's Stuart. What's your name? Uh, where are you from? My name's Pete. I'm from London. Nice to meet you, Pete. Nice to meet you too. So, Pete, do you live in Nagoya? Uh, yes, yeah, I've been living here for a few years now. Yeah. Okay, so what do you do for a living? I'm an English teacher. And is that quite common to have guys like you from England teaching English here? Yeah, yeah, there's a 
well, basically all the foreigners I know in, in the guru, 90% of the Okay, so tell me a bit about Nagoya. I'm interested in the night life. What was the night out like here? It's good, yeah. I mean, stuff like that. It's nice out in light. Yeah, there's good bars, there's good night clubs, that's the thing. Um, good restaurants too, yeah. And uh, are the bars all Japanese style or do you get international type places? Uh, a bit of both. Pretty much get anything you want. So, uh, if you want Japanese food, you can eat Japanese or if you want Mexican, Italian, Indian, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty wide range. And is it expensive to live here, would you say? Yeah, yeah definitely. Especially now. Uh, the family is Japanese here. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Final question. Would you recommend Nagoya as a destination for an international tourist? Um, yeah, yeah, it's a good place. Plenty to do, plenty to see. Um, yeah, my parents come out and they sit to enjoy themselves. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, nice. Thanks. Thanks. Right. So we found a real Nagoya, not a Japanese Nagoya, an English Nagoya. But sounds like this is a good place to visit, straight from the horse's mouth. That was Nagoya, I had a nice day. It's a good town, it's got a good atmosphere, there's a lot of good things to do. It's got a mix of high tech, which you would expect with Japan, coupled with some traditional things like the temple, which is my personal favourite. I wouldn't recommend coming to Japan just to see Nagoya, but if you're going to be coming here, it's well worth the visit. I'm going home now, by Shinkansen, Japanese bullet train. Thank you.